Hello, Jester Good here. Today we're reviewing the LEGO Brickheads Limited Edition Collector's Pack, Ray and Kylo Ren, which does release today, actually, for 249 pieces and retails for $20 in the United States. Now let's take a look at those Brickheads. So let's start off with Kylo Ren. So here is Kylo Ren, and what you gotta understand is both characters in this set are identical repackages of separate Brickhead sets that each retail for $10. Kinda wish they used this exclusive co-pack opportunity to maybe make the versions from The Force Awakens, but these two are based off of their Last Jedi versions, just like those um, individual $10 sets. Either way, the design for this is more accurate than, say, the Lego minifigure because his hair is so much more distinct and uh, more like the character. The Lego minifigure just reuses an old hair piece that doesn't exactly fit. There's some great prints on here. I love that 2x3 up top right here, which is a nice tile, and also this 1x4 on the bottom right here with a scar and his mole. We also got uh, some nice 1x4 uh, brick right here, which is a nice print, and also this 1x1 tile, which you get an extra of. Other than that, he does have his uh, you know iconic lightsaber as an accessory, which makes sense, and he does have a little cape build at the back. I like all these curves. I especially like getting the pizza slice piece in black because that's really useful. Now, the only part I don't like of this build, because honestly, this looks a lot better in person than it looked before, is his hair up top here. And it's the studs. I, I don't get why they have studs showing. And they do this with some brick heads, and we even have this problem with uh, Ray. But all this is smooth, all the rest of his hair, except maybe these corners right here. But uh, they have these studs showing up top. Like, what's the point of that? It just looks sloppy. They should have just used a 2x2 two two tile or whatever to seal it off. But... I guess that's kind of a minor complaint, but it's just something I don't really understand. Just like all the other Brickheads, um, you can see he does have an exclusive 2x2 two two tile, or not really exclusive, but a 2x2 two two tile, or sorry, 2x4 two tile with the Series 2 print on there. Sorry, that's a lot of twos in my opinion. And that, of course, makes up his stand. So that is it for Kylo Ren. Now let's take a look at Rey. And here is Rey. Of course, this is based off of her appearance, I guess, at the beginning of The Last Jedi with her robes right here and also her hair, which is so interesting. I love the build of her hair. It's a very complex and uh, lots of nice curves and everything to capture the character's hair. Now, it does have some studs showing up top. It's a lot less noticeable than Kylo Ren, so I don't mind it as much. And you get some great pieces. I love getting these uh, pizza corner pieces, as I call them, in uh, this nice reddish brown, which is exclusive to this set so far. And you see they also use those on the sides right there, lots of nice sloped pieces. And they did a great job of just capturing this character's very, uh, you know, unique hair. Now, you do get some nice printed pieces as well. You get this 1x4 brick up front, which they actually reuse on the back. And I was like, how are they going to reuse that since it has this little kind of chest part up here? And what they do is they cover it up with the hair. So that works perfectly. That's actually a really nice part usage right there. And then you do get this exclusive 1x4 tile up front right here. So that doesn't look bad as well. So those are both great pieces. She does have her lightsaber. And yeah, that's really it. Again, this is another one that looks better in person. Even the forehead, I don't really mind because when you look at it from like this angle, it looks like the character. So I think they did a great job on capturing Rey from the little Star Wars universe. And lastly, she does have, of course, her stand, which is the same as Kylo Ren's, where it just says Series 2. So that's it for the Brickheads. Now let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. Here's the front of the box. You can see it says limited edition collector's pack, which there's nothing limited edition about this. And you can see the back of the box. Now this may be the only limited edition part of the set. It's a little poster that teases a brick head of Darth Vader. And you can fold it out. And you can see right there it says coming 2018. So that's kind of cool that we're getting a Darth Vader brick head. I, I think a lot of people would like that. And if you're looking for something interesting in the instructions, they don't even show ads for upcoming ones or anything like that. So they do have two separate ones, which is kind of interesting, but that's really it. Nothing too special about these. So overall, I have to say, these look so much better in person than they looked on their first leaked appearances and even in their official pictures. Lots of nice details, and both of the detailing really comes with their unique hair styles. So I love how all the curves and everything is captured there. You get some nice pieces. I especially like getting the reddish brown corner pieces right there, or as I call them, the pizza slice pieces. And I think for $20, it's a good deal. Now, the only part I really don't like about this set, well, there's two parts. First off, these studs showing on the top of Kylo Ren's hair. And also, 
the fact that this is an exclusive co-pack and there's really nothing exclusive with it besides that poster, which isn't really much. I wish they would have used this opportunity to maybe make uh, exclusive, like I said, the Force Awakens versions of both characters since they are kind of different. It would have been a nice way to still have the same characters, but a new design. But, I mean, is that really a fault of this set? Because they do capture both characters pretty well. It's really just a repackage of other sets. So, I don't know if I could really hold that against it. So, as a $20 set, I would actually rate this set an A. I think these are two great brickheads that you could get. And it's a nice combo pack of two of the more iconic characters of the new trilogy. So, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.